So today, guys, I'm going to show you a few different build ideas, some little like tips and tips for decorational ideas that you can add to your builds to make them look a little bit better. Now, I'd like to say that everything in today's episode was actually inspired by people from my Valheim server. And if you're interested in joining that, there is a link down in the description. And if you'd like to run your own Valheim server with your friends, then you can use G Portal. There's a link to that in the description too. And if you use my code, you'll actually save 10%. But for now, let's jump in and get started with today's video. So first of all, I want to go into this house and talk about a few things in this house. Some of them are simple, some of them are less so. So let's start with the most obvious, which is in the hearth here, just placing down this log. Now, all I did with this is went into the building mode and went down and got myself a log beam and then placed it down. Obviously, I used the smaller one right here, as you can see. And I could place more if I wanted to. So you have like crisscrossing a little bit and you can do all kinds of different fancy things with them if you wish. This one is incredibly simple, but that's sort of the beauty of it. Just from this very simple thing, it really adds something to the fire, in my opinion, as it looks a little bit more realistic. And of course, that will never actually burn. It will just always be there theoretically burning. So it's an effect that will last for your entire game. Sticking with the fire theme, I want to talk a little bit about these things, being this one right here that you see in front of me, and also this one on the roof. So all I've done here is stuck some certain trophies on item stands, and then kind of hidden them, as you can see. Now, this clip right here is from a recent video I did, where I actually discovered this, and they actually made it look a lot better than I did, but you get the general concept. So all you're really looking to do is put those certain trophies and hide them a little bit, and then from eye level, when you're just walking around, you have this nice little fire lamp. The good thing about these as well is they will never run out. Unlike a fireplace that you'll have to keep adding wood to, this will Will never run out as the certainly trophies don't have any durability on them. Now as for this up here, this is something that wouldn't produce a ton of light. If it was the only light in this building, then it would be pretty dark in here. However, it does give a really nice modern lighting type of feel and there's definitely areas where you could use this for a bit of mood lighting or even just to add to the lighting like I've done here. So I wanted to include it because it's almost like you could make like big lines of these like big fluorescent lights, almost like more modern lighting if that's what you were going for. Now again, this here is like a, an art piece type of thing and we've got a couple examples here. These being the iron tower shields and over here, just the wooden tower shields. So again, this was in a recent video of mine, so I made this on my server, and I thought it was an absolutely fantastic idea. Now, if you really wanted to, you could line an entire wall with these to have a multicolored wall, but I actually think it just looks nice kind of like this, just to break the wall up a bit. It adds a bit of depth and a bit of color, and I just think it's like a nice way of adding a bit of color into the game, but it's still looking authentic. So how do we do it? Well, obviously you guys know how to make these wood tower shields of different colors, but if I take this one off, then you'll see just behind we have these item stands. If I take a few of them off here to show you guys, the important thing is that these item stands are all at the same level and that way it keeps it nice and flat as you build through so that's just the only thing you have to actually focus on when you're doing the build now the wood tower shields are nice because when you build a frame like i've done here with these log beams it actually fits perfectly inside it which is pretty cool if you use the iron tower shields like this it doesn't quite have the same effect in terms of like it doesn't reach exactly like these do uh to the sides that being said i do think this looks really nice uh especially maybe like as a bit of a smaller one like this or again you could do an entire wall if you had the time and inclination to do so so this house has a few decorational ideas in, but let's take a look outside now at some bigger things. So the first thing I would like to talk about is this right here, which is like a barbecue grill. And if I stand back a bit here, you can kind of see that a little better perhaps. But there are just so many different ways of doing this that all I wanted to do in today's video was show you the general concept. So again, we're going to use the certainly trophies down there because they're never going to burn out. So by having them underneath like that, then you know we're good here. It's always going to be here. And then we're just using item stands and food that we've previously cooked. We've gone ahead and put the food on here. We could, of course, put raw food on if that's the look that you're going for or a mixture of both. And then just some decoration nearby, you know, the pots and pans, some knives for cutting things up, and you got to have a beer on the go <laughs> whilst you're doing your barbecue. But with this whole thing, guys, just using the iron crates, the certainly trophies, and then the decorations around it, it's so easy to create all different grills. You can do this indoors, you can do outdoors, it works quite well for a barbecue. But yeah, just wanted to sort of talk about this idea, and, uh, you know, I might do some build tutorials in the future where I go into some of these ideas in more depth, and if that's something you might see, then let me know in the comments. But for now, I just wanted to mention this, as I did see it in a recent build on my server, and thought it looked really cool. Just to say, another side note, you can also make these fire pit things. Uh, these are very simple to make. I'll actually just show you really quickly how to do this one. So just using these small uh, wooden pieces right here, you just want to go ahead and place it down and then just do one mouse click and then place it down, one mouse click like that. And if you do that the whole way around, you'll see what we're creating here. It ends up being this. Then again, just a certain trophies on top. Now this is nice just as like lighting if you want to do it that way, but you could also build around this and maybe build some sort of grill over this as well if you wanted to. So just something I found when I was playing around with that I thought I'd include in today's video. Okay, next we have the pool room, uh, the pool table room to be uh, more specific rather than a, a swimming pool. And there's a few things going on here. Now, first thing I want to mention, this standing torch right here, the idea of this is that when it burns out, it'd look a little bit like chalk, like snooker chalk. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and grab a torch here and by shifting, you can see I can place it in there. So if you get that in the right location, you'll see that when that's placed, when that's burnt out, this is how it's going to look. And it would look a little bit like there's some chalk on the side of the table. But because I'd have to wait like four hours for <laughs> this to burn out, I just decided to just do the video now. So I'll go into a bit of detail with this build. Uh, you guys have got the general principle here, of course, uh, that you could copy. 
but let's have a look at how we've done some of the things. So the snooker balls are just butte parries. Oh, the table's hollow in the middle, but that's why I've fallen down here. Anyway, yes, so butte parries are being used here for the balls. Uh, pretty much the best thing I think you can use in the game for the balls. Although you could use something like raspberries as well, potentially. Uh, again, like these are just ideas for you guys to, you know, make your own. But we put three different butte parry stacks there on some item stands to do that. And again, we got the uh, flint spears here on the table on item stands to make the snooker cues that have been left out. Then I placed down some queen's jam on item stands just to make the pockets. Uh, again, you know, you've got to use your imagination a little bit here, but I think it looks okay. And just added item stands around the corner just to look like they've uh, the table's been a bit, you know, like reinforced there on the corners. Then over here, we have the uh, cue rack, as you can see right there for uh, all the different cues. And uh, of course, this one over here being the rest, if you've got one of those tricky shots you need to get to. Got placed there for the uh, the two people who are playing to sit down you know, when, the, when their opponent is at the table. A scoreboard, so we can keep track of the score and see who wins. And of course, a prize that you can win if you actually beat your opponent. And I have to say, this one looks like quite a big prize. This must be an important match. Now, when you're entertaining guests around at your house, you're also going to want to have a fridge stocked well full of different meads and things. So that's the whole idea of this one. I think this actually kind of looks better from a distance. From a distance, you can see a bit more what it is, can't you? But yeah, I thought that was a, a nice touch to have the drinks and stuff there. And of course, I've only done two of the uh, walls here. You could do more than this and, and add things in. Again, it's just like an idea for inspiration. As for the table itself, uh, there's different things you can use. If I go ahead and go into furniture here, we've got the different rugs that you could use. You could have like a brown skin table like that, which wouldn't look terrible. You also do the locks one. But the locks one to me looks a bit too furry because the balls get lost in there. And it looks like, you know, it wouldn't really play well. Uh, you could do the wolf one. It's just a little bit hard because of its shape to hide these bits that sort of stick out. But, you know, you could get creative and do something with this. Uh, but I think the red jute, which is the one I've used, is the best. So this is just two of these. So there's one here and they overlap a bit. So it's not like literally too long. Because if we do two down on the floor like this, that ended up being a little bit too long for the dimensions of what I think a pool table should look like. We overlap them a little bit. I've placed down some stone and then hidden that with this uh, wood that we've placed around here just like this. And the red felt, I think, looks really nice. I've actually seen tables in the past that have red felt, so it's not that weird. Obviously, green being the normal color, but uh, we don't really have green carpet in the game. So today's video was just a short look at some decorational ideas. If you guys like this, then please drop a like or let me know in the comments, and I will probably make some more. And on that note, if there's anything that you think you'd really like to know how to do in the game, uh, you know, some sort of item you'd like to know or decorational thing, then please do let me know in the comments, and I'll try and include it in the next video I do that is like this. But for now, I just want to say the dad jokes are, of course, coming, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I've been searching for some new camera flash pants, but I can't seem to find them. Ice hockey. What a cool sport. If a child refuses to sleep during nap time, are they guilty of resisting arrest? If someone is playing a sub-par round of golf, are they playing well or poorly?